Understanding Common Alarms and Notifications of the Kangaroo Omni Enteral Feeding Pump This video will explain the common notifications and alarms of the Kangaroo Omni Enteral Feeding Pump and how to quickly resolve them. Please refer to your Kangaroo Omni Enteral Feeding Pump instructions for use for a complete list of notifications, alarms, and resolution instructions. If an alarm cannot be resolved or an unexpected operation occurs, please contact customer service. In the upper right corner of the Kangaroo Omni Enteral Feeding Pump, the pump status indicators are LED lights that provide a quick visual indication of the pump status. There are five different light patterns. First, a solid green light means the pump is running normally. Second, a blinking green light indicates the pump is ready to provide nutrition. Third, a solid yellow light is a low priority alarm. The pump is still running normally, but it will need the user to take action soon or else it will stop functioning properly. Fourth, a blinking yellow light indicates a medium priority alarm. The pump has stopped delivering nutrition and the user needs to take action for the pump to run normally again. Fifth. A blinking red light indicates a high priority alarm warning. The pump has stopped delivering nutrition and will be out of service for a period of time. Some pump notifications will trigger an audible alarm. To temporarily silence the alarm, press the silence alarm button. This will silence the alarm for two minutes. After two minutes, the alarm audio will restart. To re-engage the audio alarm before the two minutes is up, press the bell button. This will end the temporary audio pause and restart the audible alarm. To verify the Kangaroo Omni alarm system is functioning properly, first, load a new Kangaroo Omni feeding set onto the Kangaroo Omni enteral feeding pump. Second, leave the Kangaroo Omni feeding set empty. Third, Press the Prime button. Fourth, run Auto Prime. Upon priming, the pump will detect a feed error condition and alarm. Fifth, confirm the audible alarm, color display, and pump status indicators all properly indicate a feed error condition. Feed complete notification. A feed complete screen appears at the end of a successful single feed or multiple feed regimen. Press done to clear the notification. Feed incomplete notification. A feed incomplete screen appears if a single feed or multiple feed regimen is interrupted before the desired nutrition amount is delivered. To continue the feeding regimen that was in process, press continue feed. To begin a new feeding regimen, Press Restart Feed. Pump Inactive Alarm. A pump inactive screen will appear when the pump has not been actively running for more than 10 minutes. To resolve the alarm, press Continue. This will take you to the previous screen. Low Battery Alarm. A low battery screen will appear when less than 30 minutes of battery life remains. To resolve the alarm, plug the pump into an electrical outlet. The Kangaroo Omni Enteral Feeding Pump will continue to return to the screen that was active prior to the error and will continue to operate normally. If this alarm occurs while the Kangaroo Omni Enteral Feeding Pump is plugged in, Ensure the power adapter plug is completely inserted into the power adapter port on the back of the pump and that the green power LED on the front of the pump is illuminated. Feed error alarm. A feed error screen will appear when the feed bag is empty or there is a clog or a kink in the tubing between the feed bag and the pump. To resolve the alarm, first check to see if the feed bag is empty. If the feed bag is empty, refill the bag as needed Press Continue. Prime the pump for next feeding. The patient must not be connected to the pump when priming occurs. If the feed bag contains enteral fluids, resolve the alarm by 
First, check the tubing between the feed bag and the pump to locate the blockage and clear it if possible. Third, restart feeding, flushing. If the alarm continues, first, ensure the pump is unplugged from an electrical outlet. Second, remove the cassette. Third, clean and dry the occlusion sensor region. Fourth, reload the cassette. Fifth, press skip prime. Sixth, press start to restart feeding. Flush error alarm. A flush error screen will appear when the flush bag is empty or there is a clog or kink in the tubing between the flush bag and the pump. To resolve the alarm, first, check to see if the flush bag is empty. If the flush bag is empty, first, refill the bag as needed. Second, press continue. Third, prime the pump for next flush. The patient must not be connected to the pump when priming occurs. If the alarm continues, first, ensure the pump is unplugged from an electrical outlet. Second, remove the cassette. Third, clean and dry the occlusion sensor region. Fourth, reload the cassette. Fifth, press skip prime. Sixth, press start to restart feeding, flushing. Rotor stuck alarm. A rotor stuck screen will appear when the Kangaroo Omni enteral feeding pump detects excessive resistance on the rotor, typically caused by enteral fluids or contaminant buildup. To resolve the alarm, ensure the pump is unplugged from an electrical outlet. Clean the rotor with a wet cloth. If alarm continues, press power off and use a different Kangaroo Omni enteral feeding pump. Patient tube blocked alarm. A patient tube blocked screen will appear when enteral fluids are no longer being delivered because of a clog in the tubing between the kangaroo on the enteral feeding pump and the patient. To resolve the alarm, first, check tubing between the pump and the patient to locate the blockage. Second, if possible, clear the blockage. Third, once cleared, press continue. Fourth, restart feeding. If the alarm continues, remove cassette from the pump. First, ensure the pump is unplugged from an electrical outlet. Second, clean and dry the occlusion sensor region. Third, reload cassette. Fourth, press continue. Fifth, restart feeding. If the alarm continues, replace the feeding set. If the alarm continues after replacing the feeding set, press power off and use a different Kangaroo Omni enteral feeding pump. Cassette dislodged alarm. A cassette dislodged screen will appear when cassette is not properly loaded in the Kangaroo Omni enteral feeding pump. To resolve the alarm, reload cassette. If the alarm continues, replace the feeding set. If the alarm continues after replacing the feeding set, press power off and use a different Kangaroo Omni enteral feeding pump. Cassette error alarm. A cassette error screen will appear when the Kangaroo Omni enteral feeding pump has detected an unusual operating condition. To resolve the alarm, first remove cassette. Second, inspect cassette for irregularities. Third, correct irregularities. Fourth, reload cassette. If the alarm continues, replace the feeding set. If the alarm continues after replacing the feeding set, press power off and use a different Kangaroo Omni enteral feeding pump. Valve error alarm. A valve error screen will appear when the Kangaroo Omni enteral feeding pump detects an unusual amount of resistance on the valve actuator or the valve actuator is not oriented correctly. To resolve the alarm, first, unplug the pump from the electrical outlet. Second, remove cassette. Third, check valve actuator for blockages. Fourth, confirm valve actuator is correctly oriented. 
Fifth, clean and dry valve actuator. Sixth, reload cassette. If the alarm continues, replace the feeding set. If the alarm continues after replacing the feeding set, press power off and use a different Kangaroo Omni Enteral feeding pump. Sensor Error 1 Alarm A Sensor Error 1 screen will appear when the Kangaroo Omni Enteral feeding pump detects an issue with the occlusion detection sensor. To resolve the alarm, first unplug the pump from the electrical outlet. Second, remove cassette. Third, check tubing inside cassette for lint or debris. Fourth, clean and dry the occlusion sensor region. Fifth, reload cassette. Sixth, press continue. Seventh, restart feeding. If the alarm continues, replace the feeding set. If the alarm continues after replacing the feeding set, Press power off and use a different Kangaroo Omni Enteral Feeding Pump. Sensor Error 2 or 3 Alarm A Sensor Error 2 or 3 screen will appear when the Kangaroo Omni Enteral Feeding Pump detects an issue with the force sensor. To resolve the alarm, first, unplug the pump from the electrical outlet. Second, remove cassette. Third, Clean and dry the occlusion sensor region. Fourth, reload cassette. Fifth, press continue. Sixth, restart feeding. If the alarm continues, replace the feeding set. If the alarm continues after replacing the feeding set, press power off and use a different Kangaroo Omni Enteral feeding pump. Dead Battery Error Alarm A dead battery screen will appear when the battery charge has been depleted. When this warning occurs, the Kangaroo Omni Enteral Feeding Pump will stop delivering enteral fluids. To resolve the alarm, first, plug the pump into an electrical outlet immediately. Second, restart the pump. System Error Alarm A system error screen will appear when there is a general error in the system of the Kangaroo Omni Enteral Feeding Pump. To resolve the alarm, press Restart Pump. If the alarm is not resolved after restarting the pump, please contact customer service. Thank you for learning more about the Kangaroo Omni Enteral Feeding Pump common notifications and alarms. If you have questions, please visit mykangarooLearning.com or contact your sales representative.